Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Keurig K45. It measures 13 inches tall, 9.8 inches wide, and 13.3 inches deep. It weighs 12 pounds. The unit comes in this black, blue, coconut white, and rhubarb. That's a gorgeous color. With this unit, you can brew three different cup sizes, five and a quarter ounce or small cup, seven and a quarter ounce or small mug, and nine and a quarter ounce or large mug. This unit uses K-cup pods and pods not made by Keurig. You can also buy a reusable K-cup filter separately to brew using your own coffee. The unit comes with 12 K-cups that includes donut shop, breakfast blend, hazelnut, a hot cocoa, chai latte, a dark roast, another breakfast blend, caribou blend, decaf, pike place medium roast, eight o'clock, and a Nantucket blend. The unit also comes with a charcoal filter, a filter handle, setup guide, and instruction manual. This is the power button. The brewer can be left on so it'll be ready whenever you want to brew. You can set the brewer to automatically turn off two hours after you brew. Just press the auto off button and the green light will illuminate. Press it again if you want to disable the auto off. It couldn't be easier. The descale light will come on when you should descale the unit. Even if the light doesn't come on, you should descale it every three to six months. There are instructions in the manual. The water light will illuminate if there's not enough water in the reservoir or if the reservoir is not sitting in the unit. This is the heating light. While the water is heating, this heating light will turn red. The drip tray is removable. You can fit a travel mug here that's about seven inches tall. It slides back onto the unit. The water reservoir is removable and holds 48 ounces. There is a max fill line. These two tabs go right into the slots on the side of the unit. If you are using this filter, soak it in water for five minutes and then rinse the filter under running tap water for one minute. Rinse the steel mesh on the cartridge holder, insert the cartridge, and snap on the lower filter holder. Set the replacement filter dial to two months ahead. The filter assembly goes right into the water reservoir. Just push it down to lock and fill with water. I use filtered water to brew coffee, so I won't be using the included filter. When you take the Keurig out of the box, rinse the water reservoir and fill it with water to the max fill line. Put the cover on, place a mug on the drip tray, press the power button, and wait for the brew buttons to light up. This takes about four minutes. The heating light will turn red while the water is heating up. You'll start to hear a low bubbling sound coming from the unit while the water is heating. Now the water is heated because the red heating light has turned off and the three mug size buttons are lit up. Lift the handle and pull it down. Press the small mug button. You can discard this water and you're ready to brew your first cup of coffee. Between brewing cups, it may take about 15 seconds for the unit to heat up water. The red heating light will come on, wait for the mug buttons to light up to brew again. I'll put my mug back, select the cake cup. I'm using the Barista Premium. Pull the handle up. How does the Keurig work? Two needles, one on top and one on the bottom. Puncture the K-cup and pressurized hot water flows through the K-cup to brew coffee. Put the K-cup in and lower the handle. Now select your cup size. I'm going to choose the medium size.
The coffee's brewed in under a minute. The coffee's very hot. I'll taste it. It's a good bold cup of coffee. Now if you brew the large mug and find the coffee is not strong enough, use extra bold K-cups which contain up to 30% more coffee grounds. After brewing your coffee, lift the handle, remove the K-cup and discard. You can see the hole on the top and the bottom. If you're using a hot cocoa K-cup pack, run the cycle of hot water without a K-cup after you brew the hot cocoa. To clean, make sure the unit is turned off. Unplug the machine. Remove the K-cup holder by holding the top here and pushing from the bottom. Remove the funnel by just pulling. Might be difficult at first, but it will come off. With some struggling, I was able to remove the funnel. Put a straightened paper clip in this hole to clear up any clogs and remove any particles. Don't stick your finger in here because there is a needle and it's sharp and you can rinse both the holder and the funnel under water to clean. Use the paper clip to clean the two holes right by the needle here. Snap the funnel back into the holder. There we go. Hold the handle and put the holder assembly back into the unit. Just match the arrow up to the arrow here and it snaps into place. Run two cycles of water only. The housing can be wiped down with a damp cloth. The drip tray can be washed with warm soapy water. It's not dishwasher safe. The Keurig is good for those who like variety since there are hundreds of different K-cups. You can make teas, coffees, and hot cocoa. There is, however, a price for convenience. The K-cups will cost you about 60 cents each. It might be a little more or less depending on the variety. I like that you can use a reusable filter and save money by using your own coffee and it's more environmentally friendly since K-cups are not recyclable. With this Keurig K45, you're getting an easy to use machine and an easy to clean machine. It's fast, convenient and delivers good coffee. The link to the Keurig is in the description below. If you'd like to see any products reviewed, please leave me a comment below. I hope you found this review useful. Please subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.